Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the forest chart of Euro USD in front of us. And right now, market is standing at 1.0987. In fact, I uploaded the video of gold a couple of hours ago and I have received so many requests on the comment box and I get the understanding that yes most of you have an open position on euro USD right now that's why I have been receiving so many requests so let's start the analysis first of all my dear friends after the um, yesterday's event today also we have ADP non from employment change coming up so you need to be careful because the market will be volatile again you can see the timing here 5 45 p.m this is uh, the time zone of my country so you can go to any economic calendar and change the time accordingly i'm in india and in india the news will be around at 4, 4 uh, 5 45 p.m so beginners new traders try to close on all your us dollar positions because market will be volatile again in fact in my previous videos i have clearly mentioned that this week will be full of events so you need to be careful with your us dollar positions you can see here dollar shaky after us credit uh, rating downgrade uh, the dollar struggle uh, to make headway on wednesday after a cut on the us government stop credit rating by fitch raised questions about the country's fiscal outlook though it drew some support from a relatively resilient run of economic data and if you look at the chart of dxy then dollar index is still trying to continue the upside here and you can see dollar index is right now standing at 102.15 yesterday i told you guys that dollar index uh, would break 102 level and would head towards 102.5 and we can see that it is heading towards the next resistance of 102.5 only before the us session or especially before the adp if market heads higher then you can consider that market would break 102.50 and head towards 103 level after adp when market will be dominated by fundamentals things may be volatile levels may not work but before before fundamentals before the news you should follow the levels strictly okay and in case there is a drop sudden drop in the market 101.50 will be the support for the day before the adp i don't think so there will be a huge drop in the market so this uh, support is no longer required right now after news that's a different chapter before news i don't think so market will be heading towards 100.50 so this is our range of dxy right now 101.50 on the downside and 102.50 on the upside let's wait and watch now let's talk about hero USD. so first of all my dear friends this is not a very clean chart okay clean chart not an easy chart to understand because you can see here on the daily time frame we can see euro USD is beautifully trading in a upward channel here with beautiful swings here so on higher time frame things are a little bit different and when we are switching to four hours time frame okay you can see that the present trend of the market is not very clear the present trend of the market is downside so there is a contrast contradiction between the overall trend and the present trend of the market so if you're a positional trader if you're a swing trader then obviously you should not be worried about this downtrend down move here you should strictly follow the overall trend of the market but if you're a day trader if you're a day trader if you don't like to hold your positions overnight then obviously you should solely uh, fully concentrate on the present trend of the market here and on right now we can see that pre in present trend okay market is in downtrend and right now somewhere down the line hero USD is also trying to take support so let's try to understand the chart of hero USD step by step okay so if market comes down then the previous support of 1.0950 may work as a minor level and before the us session especially before the news there's a high chance that this level will work as support and in case market breaks this level with volatility with volume then obviously market will be heading towards the next support of 1.0880 1.0880 1.0875 is the next support in case of a big drop if market breaks 1.0950 level then you can also look for a sell below this level 
we can take a sell below this level if you see that euro usd is going down with a big uh, red candle and your next support will be around 1.0880 okay so these are the levels for day traders only if you see a downside on the other hand if market surprises us with an upside then 1.1 uh, 1.1070 is still standing as the resistance for the market and before the adp if market goes upside and as we can clearly see that right now there is not much volatility so in that case 1.0 uh sorry sorry uh, uh, 1.1040 around 1.1040 we have a minor resistance keep in mind volatility of the market always play a very big role okay volatility of the market decide whether the level will work or not in this case 1.1040 is solely dependent on volatility of the market if the volatility of the market remained like this then obviously 1.1040 will work as resistance and we can look for a sell in case market give, shows a big green candle you need to use your common sense because volume is high this will not work because not all levels have equal strength in that case 1.1070 around that level you can look for a sell position this is a range of market right now as i said there is a contrast contradiction between the overall trend and the present trend so you need to be careful euro usd has been forming okay euro usd has been forming uh, lower lows and lower highs but if you observe this portion of the market here you can clearly see that euro USD did not break the previous low here so an overall trend of the market is also towards the upside so slowly the present trend of the market is also changing okay try to understand my point here overall trend is already up there is no doubt about it okay but if you look at the present trend then the present trend of the market is also changing slowly so overall trend and present trend will be the same after some time maybe okay let's wait and watch and as i always say my dear friends market will be volatile during the news so please do not gamble with your heart and money as a trader it is very important to understand when to trust your technicals and when to trust the fundamentals or when to go with the fundamentals if you see the market is going in a particular direction after the news try to follow the trend of the market instead of looking for support resistance okay do not gamble okay so that's all from my side my dear friends um, not much to discuss on the chart of euro usd because of the um, low volatility seen uh, seen uh, market is in a range right now and i don't think so market will be breaking the range before atp Let's wait and watch. So, bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow.